Good evening, everybody. How you be? Happy Thursday to you. It's been a few days since I've posted anything. Uh, talk about our Carterville Lions. It's last week was tournament week. It was busy week. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday for the Carterville boys as they open the 2022 basketball season. Wind up finishing second in the Ernie Bozart tournament, going three and zero oh in the Trico pool. And then coming back and getting beat by Murphy in the championship game. Um, the Lions now 3-1 and one on the season and a, a great tournament. we got to give credit to Murphy on that home court in that championship game. And uh, they come away the champions of the Ernie Bozar tournament. Carterville boys are going to be back in action coming up tomorrow night. As uh, conference play starts on the road at Duke Coins, 745 will be the tip-off. And um, pregame coverage will start at 730 on News Radio WJPF. And then on Saturday, the Lions are going to be uh, heading up to Edwardsville to the shootout up at Edwardsville. It's been a couple of years since they've had that shootout. Uh, it got canceled, of course, during COVID. And then last year, the power was out. Um, as a result of uh, the tornado that hit the Edwardsville area the day before, so they didn't get to have the tournament. They had to cancel it. So uh, looking for some great crowds up at Edwardsville. Lions are going to be taking on O'Fallon in, at 6 o'clock at that Edwardsville shootout. Scott Hudson is going to have the call on that on News Radio WJPF starting about 545. I've got a... Go head elsewhere. I'm going to be doing some uh, Logan games coming up on Saturday. Hey, I want to say congratulations to, let me get this pulled up here, to um, one, let me do this. Yeah. How about Marin Vaughn? She signed to go play volleyball at uh, Frontier College. Congratulations to uh Marin, an outstanding volleyball player, and uh, she's going to be uh, taking her game to the next level. Congratulations to Marin on uh, her signing this week. Was that today? It might have been today, but um, congratulations, Marin. Uh, proud of you on that, and hope you have a, just a crazy successful career at uh, Frontier College. Also, don't forget... Coming up on Saturday, wrestling is at the Benton Duels on Saturday, 8.30. Bowling is at uh, the Columbia Tournament. And then uh, girls basketball. Let's talk about girls. While I'm recording this right now, the girls are uh, taking on Anna Jonesboro in conference play. Coming up tomorrow at 1 o'clock, they're going to be taking on Bree Central. That's a home game at Carterville High School. The ladies coming in to play tonight, 5-3 and three on the season. They beat DuCoin Tuesday night, 53-41 to 41 in conference play. And congratulations to Coach Todd Rogers and the girls on a pretty decent start to the 2022 basketball season. Again, Carterville boys are going to be in action coming up uh, tomorrow night from DuCoin. Scott Hudson and I will have the call from Anders Gymnasium starting about 7.30. And uh, tip-off is slated for around 7.45. But uh, you kind of know that's a little flexible time, game time start. But we'll have the call for you on News Radio WJPF AM 1340. It's going to be on the FM side 99.5. And uh, we'll have all the coverage for you coming up tomorrow night. So I hope you watch. And, uh, yes, the live stream will be up and running to where you can watch the game and listen to the call. Have a great rest of your Thursday night. We'll talk to you tomorrow night. And thanks for watching here on our Lions Update. Have a great night.